Okay, here we go. We're here. Okay, look. Every once in a while, I give you an update on like what you know what I'm buying. Blah 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 blah. This is a comprehensive one of last few weeks. First of all, let me just do this. Um, this is a a New Zealand product. Well, you see, is it a New, yeah New Zealand product? It's a manuka manuka health well manuka health, but it's manuka honey from New Zealand mm. down under. Um, now it's very expensive. Here in the states, this thing costs uh, fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Okay, forty nine ninety. Whatever. Okay. Now, what I use it for? First of all, take about a quarter of a, um, a third of a, three, a third of a teaspoon. Right? I can only take it when I remember. It's probably every other day, every third day, every fourth day, sometimes. But don't think of it as honey. Don't put it on your food. Whatever. Think of it as medicine. All food is medicine. The honey bees make the best medicine. Milk and honey, pay for it. That's done. Right? Um, okay, let me get rid of this stuff here. I just finished. Um, I get real pr prune juice, not from concentrate. When you, whenever you see something that's from concentrate, all that means is that they took it and they froze it with some sugar. <laughs> <laughs> and reconstitute it, which means you got a lot of sugar in it. They don't sell you sugar. But this is just pure prune juice. It's why prune juice, Anthony Papa. First of all, I just like prune juice. That's the whole, the long and short. But I, I keep on remembering my grandmother, she used to have this double, this double pot, glass pot, and she would uh, uh, cook the prunes up. She would cook the prunes and with the juice, we have this approved. Anyway, that brings back to my childhood. So I, I don't know, I had that for about three weeks a month I don't know what it is every once in a while every, I, I, every two weeks something like that I just drink a thing of prune juice right just do it right um, but because I'm uh, not because of anything but I was at the uh, my favorite one of my favorite stores closest store it's a food line every once in a while they have this juice antioxidant force juice right it's made from pomegranate tart cherry red grape uh, purple carrot it always turned me on uh, cranberry Blueberry, not from country. Again, not from country. It says it's organic, but you know, again, in here, what they have: organic pomegranate juice, uh, uh, organic top. Blah 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 blah. It's just the same thing about sugar. So that's good. Sugar is naturally in the thing. But here's the thing about juices. Once we, one person told me one time, I don't understand that juice in this and they juice in that. Like say you're juicing orange. Well, I'll well, just eat the orange. <laughs> it's a good point. But with juice is so concentrated, like with something like this. You really don't want to drink a lot of juices, like like drink it down like 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 your like your fizzy drinks, you know what I mean? Because you know you're you're getting all that. I mean, you're getting more than one serving. What like if you eat one apple, you just eat one apple. If you get apple juice and you have a cup of apple juice, you might be drinking four apples. I don't know. Somehow it works out like that. Oh, but I found this a long time ago. But I only eat I, vegan eggs. I've been eating vegan eggs for years, but they just came out. Just came out, the last few years. Came out with the soy feet, soy free, soy free, S O Y free, uh, vegan eggs. So the soy, as you know, all the soy is, is corrupted. You know, the, the the Monsanto's people, you know, they got in there, they just you know, GMO'd it or whatever they did it. So that's the that's the food stuff I got. I should drink. Uh, I'm not gonna. Drink, I'm not even gonna drink the antioxidant today. I'm gonna actually gonna make my. Uh, I'm breaking my breaking my fast. It was late, but I'm gonna do a, a, a my goats, my sheep's, my sheep milk yogurt. Uh, I'm not gonna show you that; it's in the refrigerator. My sheep milk yogurt. That's the thing I just found out. Should I show it to you? Um, sheep milk yogurt. You know, you have yogurt, then you have your flavored yogurt, and then you have your uh, goat's milk yogurt, which I did for a while. But now I found sheep milk yogurt. They just put them. Sheep milk has a nice tangy, tangy taste. I like that, so I do that. Okay, so that's all with the food stuff. Oh, T-Mobile. They have this T-Mobile free stuff on Tuesdays. So I got this. I got this uh, thing here, and I think it's, oh yeah, they got the fork and the, with the spork and the, and, the, and the thing in there. So this is good for travel, right? That was to get the, the utensils in the, in the thing. Got it free from T-Mobile. Free Tuesday, you get some sort of app, and they, you know, they give you free stuff every Tuesday. I'm not really into it because that means they gotta, you know, how do you say, collect stuff. <laughs> I don't want to collect stuff, but, but I take that with me because I have another one. 
another one that has a, the fork and a, and a spoon or with a knife in the, in the thing that I, that I use. Okay, but here's the big thing. That, um, next to the big thing. One second. Big thing first. Well, I'll do that last. The big thing is I have this picture that you may see in my other postings. And the picture looks like this. Like this. I don't know if you see it. But I had the, I took the negative. See, it says, we got to save black people. We got to save black people. But it's very significant for me. Um, uh, so I, yeah, I, what it is, is this was taken in Mexico, in uh, Puerto Angel to be exact, right? Um, on the west coast of Mexico. And uh, what it was, was this is when the Haitians were doing this, uh, this was in the 90s. The Haitians were doing, were, were being, whatever they were being, the boat people and all this other stuff. And uh, they were being put in, in camps. Let's call them behind fences and camps like that. So I wanted to take a solidarity picture about that. So I was in Mexico and I, I, I saw this, this fence up there and I went up there and I took the, had this Mexican, right? And I had him take my camera, right? My trusty old camera that got stolen on the train one time. Anyway, um, and I had him take this picture and I knew how the picture was gonna come out. Well, almost, I knew it was gonna be like that. So this is this is a picture of me back in the day, in the 90s, had my locks, blah, 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 whatever have you. But you won't notice, but this was sent to me, this is when I was arts director for WBAI. And they, all the time they send you t-shirts, they send you all kinds of, so one rap group sent me a, a t-shirt, right? And this was the t-shirt, but, but the name of the rap, or the rap group is in this logo here. But the logo is a is a gun, it's a gun pointing at you. But the way the thing came out, I didn't really plan this part. But see, they have the, no, I have that coming through the gun. For me, this is not for me. I'm not look. Warriors are warriors. You, you war however you want, however you can. You you war with a knife. You war with your, your brain. You war with you war with a gun. You war however you war. I'm a warrior. Down whatever have you. I just war different. Okay. And plus I'm too old. Yeah, this man. So this is my base. I'm saying for me, it's like no guns, right? Like you got to use something else, right? And if you really see the the, the look on my whatever, it doesn't matter. So so anyway, so I got this. Um, I had the negative, right, which was very hard. They don't seem to, they have to want to take pictures. And I know it wasn't going to be a very good, um, well, I, I, I had to have it on t-shirts because I'm going to the ADOS conference. So I had to have it on t-shirts. So, um, so I had this one done, but I had it on three shirts. So this is a, like the one with the blue, right? I think on the back of this t-shirt, I might put my other thing, my secret, my secret thing, it says Sloan Warriors. I'm not really sure. But then, not then, then I have this t-shirt here, also, it's an orange, same thing, right? I don't know, I may not put anything on the back, but I might put something on the back. I might put, what I might put, I'm not really sure, I'm not really sure, I might put this on the back. I don't know if that'll, that'll work, but either that, either that, or I might put this same, the, the, the numbers, the numbers thing on the back. But I don't think I'm gonna do that either. I don't know. I might just put, I might just put no more radio on the back. Who knows? On, on, on the back, of the orange one. Then I had this idea. I said, well, take the gold one, and instead of putting it on the front, I just put it on the back. You know, because you know people sometimes you know you have something that, that's reading or whatever. People they they be staring at you like that. You know, I want them to see it on the back, right? We got to save black people, and I like the way it's just, it's you no, know, we gotta. No, it's black talk, you know, Ebonics, whatever it has it. But since I put it on the back, I said, I should have something on the front, right? That's where I starts to think it. I starts to think it, right? So I went and I said, well, I, I need to put an African single symbol on the front, you know? Because, you know, as you may or may know, I'm bi-continental, right? You know, I don't know about this whole, well, Pan-African, whatever, you know, the American, whatever. I, I exist. In in Af on Af on continent of Africa, specifically in the rural area of South Africa, and I exist in the United States on the East Coast mainly, but sometimes out, out in the Midwest. Blah 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 blah. Let's have people, you know. I just got invited. I got a place to stay in L.A. I can crash in L.A. anytime I want. Anyway, that's not the point. So I was looking for African symbols. So I, so I went to this uh, website. Um, uh, what's it called? A uh, 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 Dinka brand. A D I N K R A B R A N D dot com. I went to their site, and you know, so I'm going to things. So you know, you get your, your regular, you know, you get your regular stuff. Let me just go through a few of these. 
you know, you get your regular stuff, you know. You know, you got, they, first they start off with the whole divine one, you know, that that's concept of God kind of thing. And of course you have the Sankofa, Sankofa, you know, looking back and go forward. Uh, I'm not really into that sort of stuff. Well, I am into it. I understand what they're doing, but uh, we put it this way. Not only am I an outlier, I'm an outlier's outlier, which basically means whatever you're thinking, I'm thinking like something else. <laughs> totally out there, right? So I'm going through these other symbols, you know, they all kinds of, uh, chief of they, they got all kinds of symbols here, right? This one, uh, I don't know what Siamese crocodile, I don't know, whatever, whatever, whatever. They went to this, this uh, is another crocodile thing, I don't know, crocodiles. They had this English, this uh, ram's horn, not into that. They had this one I sort of almost like, but the linked hearts, you know, but uh, I'm not for linked hearts, I'm not really into that. They had the, by the grace of God, they got a lot of God in, in there, right? Uh, this one here, I was I was taken, but when I first saw it, I said, ooh, this might be a good one, right? This one right here. But the translation is, uh, uh, God is in the heavens. I'm not into that. <laughs> okay. Then you have this uh, this twisting that looks like love, L-O-V-E. This, this one here, but uh, I wasn't into that. Then it comes to, oh, this looks good, you know, but, you know, it means child of the heavens, child of the stars. Uh, it wasn't good. Then this one I came to, no one, no one should bite the other. No one should bite the other. By by Nika by, by Nik, by by, Kin, by Nika, B I space N K A space B I. Sorry, I, don't know. I think this is West African language. So that's what that is. I said, oh, that's. I think I like that one. But eh, it wasn't. I wasn't feeling that that hard, right? Then you got this whole these hens, this animal kind of things came out, you know, the house compound. And I, I, I wasn't really into that. This one here, fence, uh, not into borders, you know, I don't like cages and stuff like that. Um, and then I came to, ooh, I said, whoa, I like this one. This is war horn. Translation is war horn. Uh, Akoben, A K O B E N, war horn. Sounds good. I like that one. That's almost. I almost said that would be the one. Then you have this chain link one right here. Then they have this other, another, another snake climbing. I'm not really into the snake thing. You have this heart, this heart one right there. You know, whatever it is. I wanted something that would be African. Then you have this, uh, this holding a measuring stick. You know, like like that. Um, then we came to this one. It says that which does not burn. I like that one too. But see, I don't really. If you re if you ever reference fire around me, I'm not really, I'm just not, no, that's no, I don't, don't, no, I don't do the fire thing. In fact, I told everybody, look, when I pass, when I'm transitioned, right, I don't want to be burnt up, no cremation. I don't want to be buried from, from the wormies, none of that, into the sea. I want to go, I'll be fish food. That's, that's, um, that's, that's me. Uh, if, 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 hey, never mind, I won't, I won't get into that. And this is called independence. Ah, I'm not into that. This other thing's called uh, enemy of the something like that. Some other stuff I came at. I kept on going. I couldn't find. Just look at this iron cross that you know that 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 the, the Nazis you know whatever the Germans where they, they, they which uh, that which that which removes bad luck is what that that thing is 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 uh, is going to. Then you had something. Then, anyway, so I kept on going. I kept on going. I kept on going. I just couldn't find anything that suited me right that I, you know that i thought that I, I was feeling you know this one handcuffs kind of interesting i don't know like that uh uh so i just kept on going that comes this uh the teeth and the tongue close if they really said the tongue and the esophagus like saint anthony then you know i might have i might have went for that then they came and so oh, yeah, god god never dies therefore i cannot die this almost got me god never dies Therefore, I cannot die. Meaning that you're, you're God within. You know what it means, okay? Then I came to and said, "Whoa, Wait, this is like." Let, let, let me just say one thing. When I was art director with BAI, what's interesting it made me the music director of the station because all kinds of music is coming through. When I say we, we still did all kinds of all kinds of folk music, classical music, whole soul, uh, you know, um, jazz, uh, salsa, all, all kinds of music, bluegrass, when it comes through, to come through your desk. But people understand. But people understand when you have a, when you're a music director, or something like that, you're hearing the stuff all the time. When something hits, when something comes through, like like um, uh, when Bojack then came through, 
put that sucker up, poof, this is it. So Bo Jacques was like, whoa, I got this, this, you know, from New Orleans, but he passed, whatever. They died. Anyway, so I'm just trying to say, so when this one hit me, uh, Naya Sapo, Naya Sapo, probably saying it wrong, that one right there, N-Y-A-N-S-A-P-O, right there. I said, this is the one, Wisdom Knot. Wisdom Knot. Oh, let me take this off, I gotta read this now. So I said, oh, well, it, it's the English translation of the, of the African, or West African thing. It's a West African thing. Meaning and philosophical significance. Now I wrote, when I do the stuff that I wrote, I wrote this down, but I'm gonna read it off the thing because I can't. So, well, my writing is difficult to read. Even I can <laughs> Some people can read my writing, but I can't. My wife can read my writing. A bunch of people, can, they can read my writing. I can't read my writing. Can I say something about that? Okay, let me just say something about that. When I was in India, I said this story before. A doctor, I was, whatever I was writing, the doctor was looking at it. He was, he was a medical doctor. We, I forgot what I was. I was just thinking, I forgot what I was doing, therefore. And he says, oh, you have the writing of a, of, a, of a philosopher. You know, he could have been joking. I don't know. But I just throw that out there. Okay, symbol, uh, symbol, uh, uh, meaning of sentiment. Symbol of wisdom, integrity, and I'm sorry, start over. Wrong. Wisdom, ingenuity, intelligence, patience, and especially revered symbol of the Akan. Okay, let me just say the Akan. I've often, for a long time, I had this thing about the Akan. I said, if I had to be a priest, I would be a priest in the Akan system. You know, because they're the ones that lock their hair when they go into, when they go into, the, when they're studying for the priesthood, and then when they make the priesthood, they, 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 they cut their hair, right? So that always fascinated me, you know. I have this affinity towards that kind. Even though if, if I had to choose one religion on the planet, which I have my own religion as well. Um, like Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. says, I'm, uh, I, 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 I do, a, 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 I do a, a whole different thing. It's, it's like a derivative, not derivative. It's like a, the, 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 like a deist, right? Eclectic pluralism is what Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. calls it. That's what, that's what I subscribe to. Anyway. Uh, uh, symbol of the Akan, this symbol conveys the idea that a wise person has the capacity to choose the best means to attain a goal. I said, this, that, I, uh, I want to be that. Being wise, this is what you really get, being wise implies broad knowledge. I travel a lot. I read a lot of different things. I had to show you some books I just picked up. Uh, you know, you, there's a broad knowledge, learning and experience, right? And experience is the best thing. And learn, you're always learning. Again, it's nearly full of you And the ability to, to apply such faculties to practical ends. The thing is not that you expose something or see something, but how do you apply it to a circumstance? Or as as uh, Dr. Carl would always say that, that to Sonia Sanchez says, is that how do it free us? If you're getting all this knowledge, how do it free us? Because remember, you know, remember what, what did we say? We got to free black people. This is this this is a this is a this what this may have been one of the most significant pictures I ever. I had a lot of interesting pictures of me throughout the years, but this is the one the one that I set up, set up invite and take it. That's it. How do we say? How do how do you apply anything that you're doing to save black people? Do it free us. That's that's the clarion call, okay? So I, okay, so I just want to tell you that. So 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 in other words, that one. See, so this is the back of the T-shirt. So I'm gonna take that symbol. I'm gonna have that symbol. Be put. Hey hey. Where did it go to? So this symbol is gonna be put on the front of the gold T-shirt. See how that works? It's so nice with it. Okay, so let me wrap this up. So oh. <gasps> Found, I lost, lost the book and the script that I've been working on since the '90s. Twelve million black voices, which applies to it, just came, it comes full circle with with the, with since um, since Eidos came before, because what the thing was was simply not something. 
what, what it was, what this book here, 12 Million Black Voices, right? Text by Richard Wright. I had taken this text, right? And I broke the, the text out, since this is 12 Million Black, into all these voices. So I did that, right? And it comes out to basically, basically, four, 427 voices. Seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen. Uh, one and three is odd and unusual. Okay, that'll work for me, I guess. So this is the script. Told me in black voice. Text by Richard Wright, adapted to radio by Anthony Sloan. That would be me. And so I'm working on this project right now. Actually, I have permission from the station, program someplace, that, uh, you know, I'll be doing it for the next, every time I come up to the States, I'll be working on this project, right? I'm going to record it on one phone, and it has to be, it has to be like low, low tech, low to the ground. So I'm going I'm to be doing that. So it was, that, it, was, it was in storage in New York at my brother's house, my, my fraternity brother's house in New York. And I was looking every place for it. And finally, he was looking through his cage downstairs, where we, wherever his stuff is. And he found it. And looked, and he mailed it to me. Because I got to work on that right away. I'll start with my family down here. I want to see Bernard White in a few, in a few weeks. I'm going to put him on there, whatever have you. So that, okay. But talk about Richard Wright. Boom. 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 Not even, I'm not even going to open it yet. I don't know when I'm going to open it. But this is, Richard Wright wrote, um, he had this, uh, I think it was like Eight Men or something like that, a uh, 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 collection of short stories. In that was a short story of the man who lived underground, right? Well, this is the book of that short story. It just came out, they found it, whatever it is. And I just, so we was down at uh, MacArthur Mall down in uh, Norfolk, which, they say it's going to close up because whatever. I, let me put it this way. Uh, what's name left there? The Apple Store left. That must mean something. But every time I'm in a bookstore, I take my... Not that I drag my... Yeah, I drag my sister to bookstores. Right? And I always try to give her a little hunch. Because, you know, she reads... But, you know, she's, she's got a, a Grisham novels up there. But she reads every once in a while. She gets some, some, some significant. So I had to get this book here. I don't know nothing about it, but I had to get this book here. Right? Uh, a Black Women's History of the United States. It revised afterwards with Dana Ramsey Berry and Kylie Nicole Bra Bra Ross. Gross. Gross. I got gross. Uh, and I always look back at these, um, at, at who, what do they have in there like that. I haven't looked at all the names, but I think the significant names I wanted were in South African Apartheid. Uh, I don't know if they got Pepsi Charles in here. I probably don't know. No, I don't think they going to have that. Uh, B, C, C. I saw they had N, period. I said, whoa, they got N, period. I said, okay, that's significant. So, so this is for my sister. I need a reference book. And that's all, that's all the shopping I did. Well, that's, that's all this presence that in the last few weeks, just wanted to give you an update. I know it took a long time, but this, remember this channel, you're not supposed to be looking at this anyway. This channel is for archival purposes only. I'm sort of it's a memoir of my my little comings and goings on the um, in this in this in this epic this epic times. All right. So just those you know those, some some stuff that's been happening recently to me. T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know, but I only suspect.